Uh, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gladwell Kozak. Uh, if you're new here, please do feel welcome. If you're one of my returning viewers, thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, on today's video, I'll be sharing with you how I do my laundry. I will be showing you my uh, washing machine. It's an ingusset and it is a combined uh, washer dryer. So I'll be showing you how I do my laundry and also how I do my drying. Uh, I usually do in two batches so the colors and the whites my husband has already done the colors so I'll just be doing the whites and that's what I will be sharing with you so yeah let's see how it goes it is a wet uh, and windy day outside but I will be doing my washing and I will be doing my drying in the washing machine which is as I said uh, a combine of wash and dry and that way I usually don't have to worry especially during the wet and mucky winter months so guys um, that is my washing machine and I will go straight away to share with you and show you the features that are on my machine uh, guys as I said before uh, this is my uh, washing machine it is an intercept uh, that is the brand I've had this uh, washing uh, machine for the last six years it is a combination of a washing machine and a dryer and that's why you have this feature which is showing you uh, push uh, wash uh, plus dry so that one is for cotton and synthetics uh, you have the special features and the cycles that you can choose from so if your whites at 90 uh, degrees uh, your echoes at 40 to 60 degrees uh, echo cotton uh, 20 uh, echo synthetic 20, uh, 20 degrees uh, if you want uh, the special features depending on what you're doing spots or dark uh, stuff whatever you need to do uh, or whatever kind of laundry that you have so you can choose all those cycles uh, to suit your needs uh, you have the knob where you will make be making the choices so these numbers they represent the cycle that you will be choosing if it's a spin or, 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 or a lens uh, on this side you have the wash uh, cycle and the rinse and then the spin at um, and then you have the drying feature usually you can uh, uh, choose the time you want the clothes to be dried um, if you want to, to be dried for three hours depending on how heavily wet they are or the choice of your spin so uh, it is up to you but usually for me I usually ch choose uh, these uh, drying features because uh, it depends if I want them to be either uh, a little bit damp for ironing or if they are going to be straight put on the hanger and just air and then uh, completely dry out or if I want them to be put straight into the drawer which is the main one that I usually choose so guys um, my machine is a class A uh, 100 1400 uh, spin 7 kilos for the wash and 5 kilos for uh, if you're washing straight and drying so I usually do my uh, cycle in two parts so I usually do the the washer cycle fast and then I usually remove and divide uh, the drying lot because that way I am able to uh, make sure that the drying is done correctly so guys I'll be showing you how I do my uh, washing and I do hope uh, if you have any questions you can always ping me a comment uh, ask me and uh, yeah um, let's keep this one going so when it comes to uh, the detergent, I am not very particular. Uh, I have always tried different kinds of uh, detergent, especially powder detergents. Uh, all the brands I've tried before, Ariel, uh, Parcel, but I have come to the conclusion, as long as you're happy, uh, you can use whatever uh, detergent that is out there. I, I, at the moment, I am using my local supermarket detergent, detergent which is just the brand, uh, the supermarket uh, detergent, and I have loved it. 
I've used it for a couple of years. I am happy with it and I have uh, no intention of changing anytime soon. I use the powdered detergent and I also add uh, Calgon, which is for the lime scale um, remover. It's just a, uh, make, it ensures that the, there is no lime scale buildup uh, in the washing and in the piping. So it is important if you live in a hard water area, use uh, when you are adding your detergent, use um, a water uh, softener as well. And I also do use the uh, fabric softener uh, as well. So uh, I have uh, added all the bits that I need, the detergent, the uh, water softener, and then the fabric softener. And as soon as I select and I put everything in, then I will be choosing the cycle that I want, which is uh, whites. I usually don't go for the highest temperature, which is usually recommended for you doing your, especially your white cottons. I just choose the, the middle te temperature. So it's neither too high, neither is it too low so that my whites can still remain white and bright. So that is what I, I, I do. And I have uh, had good results for all the years. So I am happy to continue with those um, uh, for doing the same. So now the laundry is finished. I am just removing uh, the washing and then I will divide it into parts so that it can be able to dry properly. Otherwise, if I allow the load, which is around seven kilos to uh, all be dried uh, in that one load, then it won't be properly dried. So that's why it is important. You either wash uh, a bigger load and then you remove, divide your load. And at, at the same time, I also do, as you can see, I am actually shaking and just straightening the clothes so that when I'm putting them in, when they dry out, they don't come out crisp, which is very important. And that is a good tip that you can actually follow because you will see at the end of the wash, when I'll be removing the clothes, they will not be looking crisp. They are very easy if you want to iron and put them away or if you fold them nicely and put them in the drawers they will be still looking nice and wearable So with the drying load uh, started, uh, it can take about uh, one and a half hours depending on how much you have actually put in and whatever feature you have actually chosen. So I usually use the maximum because as I said, I want my clothes to be completely dry before I actually iron them because I use a steam iron. So when I need uh, to iron, because most of the time I don't iron straight away it can be either in a day or two so that's why i don't want them to stay or be a little bit damp because in that way they can actually uh, make the the clothes moldy so with the uh, washer uh, complete i am now removing the dried out clothes and as you can see 
they are looking actually good to go good to be folded up some things uh, they need a, a little touch of ironing other things they will go straight away into the drawers especially things which do not need any ironing um, so guys if you're looking for a good uh, washer out there this is an interseat it is not an expensive uh, washer dryer uh, because I see so many bad reviews out there on the internet people saying they are afraid to buy a combined uh, washer dryer I have had mine for six years it has done me a good service and as I said I usually do uh, the drying cycle during the winter months so we are talking about four months in a year I do the washing plus the, the drying on the same machine and I have never had any problems or any issues so I am really very happy to recommend if this is something that you're looking out to do and especially you do not have uh, enough space in your house like as you, you can see in ours we have the washing machine in the kitchen there is this is a good alternative rather than having two different uh, machines which are taking uh, precious space in houses where there is not enough space something you also have to be aware is uh, because you're having a, a washer dryer machine when you are drying uh, after you've dried it is important to clean the piping on the drum because it accumulates a lot of those dusty particles that are coming uh, from the clothes and inside the rim it is always important to clean after every uh, dryer cycle otherwise uh, if it is left in there then it will eventually clog your uh, washing machine and it will not give you good service and you will have either breakdowns or uh, it means uh, the machine might be damaged beyond repair so um, if you're thinking of a, a washer uh, and, and drying combination then those are things, uh, tips that you need to follow. Cleaning your rims every single time when you dry your clothes uh, before you put the next load. So I hope you've enjoyed my laundry day uh, and me sharing this with you. And those are all my clothes are finished and i'm just waiting for the other load to finish and uh, yeah if you've um, seen anything that is helpful or you think uh, there's anything that i can advise on please uh, do make sure uh, to leave a message uh, give us a like a thumbs up and even do consider subscribing onto our channel so we'll keep this uh, channel growing and uh, i can continue posting uh, some uh, different kinds of videos things which might be of interest to you so guys i am so grateful that you stopped by and uh, i do hope i can get to see you in the next one so bye for now